I'll okay. stay here and enjoy myself. No, so so this idea of a virgin and stuff like that. I personally, I, I don't mind. You know, it, it means that she's for me. The woman is for me. Has not had any sexual intercourse with other men in the past. In this dunya, I don't care to be honest, whether she did or she didn't. But in the, okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. Long, uh, anyway, look. Yeah. yeah, well, maybe me and you have similar tastes. You like the potatoes, you like the rice. <laughs> maybe, you know. Where you, what country are you from? Uh, ethnically Congolese. Very beautiful country, you know. Uh, I have you are to, different, isn't it? That's correct. Um, you know a lot about me already. But haven't big, you know. Thank Sorry you. Enough, now, I'm saying to you is that the, the first. So this thing about, you know, virgins, I don't even know why people use it as an argument. I think it's an argument again. The same person, sorry to say, let me just, just close, the, let's, let's close the, a little of this, yeah? The same people that are talking about, oh, in Islam, you guys believe in the virgins and all this, yeah? He's going home and watching porn, pornographies. And he's getting, I'm not, I'm not, say, I know, I'm not saying you do, because it's not allowed in Catholicism. Even yeah. masturbation is not allowed, correct? Yeah. yeah because you're not even allowed to, which is the same as in Islam. For the most part, other, mean, uh, other opinions. Which masturbation? which masturbation is like when you have sex with a wife? Yeah, yeah you, believe that, you believe that, you know, this, uh, you're killing the children yeah. or something, you know, by doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, whatever. What I'm saying is, the same people that you hear, oh, you believe in, uh, I don't know how many virgins in heaven, they are using escorts. Sorry, they're going. They're using escorts. They're calling. Oh, uh, can you come to my hotel? I'll pay for your fare. No, it's perfect. No, 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 it's not. No, no, no. It's hypocrisy. And uh, by the way, and they're arguing legally to free up sexual uh, liberation and this stuff. So why don't we just be honest and authentic about the human proclivity? We have a proclivity to sexual intercourse. That's, 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 that's the issue, though. I think the issue it's is the issue because you talk about seventy-two virgins. No, no, no. That, what if that, I want hundred virgins? I mean, like, uh, in your Jannah, in your heaven, I wouldn't even get one, maybe. What kind of place is that? I don't want to go there. I'll stay here, mate. That's the thing, though. I'll like, stay here, I go to my house, I'll have, have more fun in than your Jannah. I mean, like, let, let's say someone in heaven here wants, wants children to sleep with. Is that okay? Say, say someone in heaven here wants to have sleep with children. Is that okay? Sleep with what? Children. No, because we wouldn't have desire exactly. to do things which are, which are, are unethical. I, I, I agree, I agree. That's great, great. But, but well, why is it unethical to be with a woman that you love and that you love? She loves is, it, you? is it ethical to have more than four wives? Is it ethical to have more than four wives? More than four wives? Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not unethical. It's not unethical. It's not unethical to have more than four wives. In your faith? Yeah, I'm saying it's not unethical. So God's there's not, no, not There's ethical. nothing intrinsically. Look, I'm, I'm answering your question. Intrinsic? There's okay. the, no, there's a difference between, no, no, no. There's a difference between intrinsic, um, uh, intrinsically ethical uh, slash unethical okay. versus it's ethical because the command says it, it's, it's allowed, yeah? yeah? So if I say, look, if I had 10 wives, just like uh, David had 300 in your book, yeah? 300 wives and 700 concubines, yeah? It's going out. No, no, okay, okay whatever. <laughs> uh, or, 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 I don't have, it. I don't have an issue with it. Yeah. But if I say that, look, restrict, I'm only allowed to have four. The, the, the degree to which is unethical is only because saying, I'm going that, yeah. The reason is the difference between good and bad things are intrinsically good and bad and God's command. So God's command can be something that... Yeah, that's my view. That's not... Uh, there, there, are, there, are, there are two views in Islam. Oh, yes, okay. There's the divine command theory. And this view, these are like two um, forks of the Euphros dilemma. Okay. You know, you know Euphros dilemma? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, yeah. So, so, so for me, I actually take Aquinas' view on the matter. Okay. Which is the and in Al-Qayyim's view, and, uh, and Augustine's view. Who, he, they all intimated this. Before, so you see yeah, it from us. Possibly, I, I, I don't think it's, pot, I, I don't think he had um, read it, but I, I, it's, it's not too bad. It's not, but he, he took it from, it was, a lot of it was Neoplatonic anyway. Yeah, I mean, but, but Ibn Taymiyyah was against the Neoplatonic forms, whereas Augustine was for it. But anyway, this is a different story. I, in terms of, in, the view is that there's something which is good and bad out there. Goodness for me, I take the Protestant position, is the manifestation of God's goodness onto something. And then if God's goodness is not in that thing, then that thing does not so exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay, it's privation. Yes. Privation. Augustine. Which is Augustine's view. I'm saying I take that, that fork of my person. So if I, if I believe in divine command theory, my answer to you would be that anything more than four would be unethical. Yes. Okay. But I don't take that view. Really? Anyway, going back to the point. There's nothing wrong there for. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong there for. Like, so, this is, you see, this is the attempt. I'm giving you contradictions in who your God is. And then you come to me as a Muslim and you say, okay, well, you've got 72 virgins. I'm saying 72, I want 100, I want uh, 200. There's no problem, there's no logical contradiction. I don't see a logical contradiction. That's the issue is that, like, it's.
Please don't mean it. Heaven is all about pleasing man, but not heaven is all about pleasing no, God. No, in fact, to the contrary. There's, uh, so what is happy when you're having sex with virgins and all these and drinking? It's just the fact that m men, yeah. according to the psychological measures of today, yeah. like for example, Baumeister and Cantonese of 2011, when they did a, a cross-sectional psychological study, the biggest of its kind, have found, and by the way, you know, there was three or four women in that, yeah? They were saying that, which are the top researchers, that the male sex drive is stronger than the female sex drive. So what, yeah, that's what that's what the psychological. You can you can write a paper I'll, and I'll, I'll you can that look, look, you can disagree all you like, but what you what you have to do in order to disagree is you have to write a paper, peer review it, and then challenge the results of the other psychological investigation. Or find another study that contradicts that one. Yeah, but I have not found, and in fact, they mentioned that in the study that there is no other study that contradicts that one. Elaine Hatfield, in 1989, yeah, when they went to the men in the campus. I'm not sure. Have you heard this study? No. Very famous study. They done it. They repeated it from the 70s all the way to the night, like basically the early 90s. And they asked men and women three questions. Would you go like men would ask women, do you want to go out on a date with me? Do you want to come back to my apartment? And do you want to have sex with me? Three questions. Now I'm just gonna. Men will say yes. Okay. The third question. In the 1989 study, which now would not even go through the Curec uh, Ethics Committee, yeah. I'm saying that. What was the percentage of women that said, yeah, I want to have sex with you? Women are stingy. What do you think? Women are stingy, so 80%. Zero percent of women. Zero. Zero percent. Zero percent. So when when women came to men, well, sorry, when men went, when, when men came to women uh, on the campus and whatever, and they were asking them, zero percent. Let me just like, uh, this is uh, this this study was actually somewhat longitudinal. I'm saying zero percent of women said yes. Zero. Guess how many percent of men? Seventy-five percent. Now. 75%. Now what I'm saying is that there's a major disparity between the sexual proclivity inclination and uh, the intensity of the male sex drive versus the female. So if the Quran caters for that by giving incentive to men which he doesn't give to women, that is because if he didn't do that, if the Quran did not do that, then there would be some kind of deficiency in the Quran. And the Quran says itself, does he not know what he created and he is the all sorts of all aware? In fact, if the Quran had given similar sexual incentives to women and that, uh, as men, I would say that would be a cause of concern. Yeah. That would be a cause. I'm Considering what we know today of the male sex drive versus the female sex drive, the testosterone, according to all studies, scientific studies, not even psychological or sociological, females have one tenth to one twentieth the amount of testosterone that women do, that men have, yeah? And of course, testosterone is, is inextricably linked to the libido, yeah. which is why they, when they connected, when they asked the question of female sex drive, it goes up when the testosterone increases. If, if you increase testosterone in women, their sex drive increases as well. I'm not saying it's the only reason why their sex drive may go up, but I'm saying there's a difference here. And I think most people know it. I think you're playing the fool. So no. I'm, no, 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 you are playing the fool. No, so no, I'm no, saying no, it's nothing is wrong here to have sex. Uh, it's nothing wrong with having sex uh, in limits. But what I'm saying is that, like, yeah, um, yeah, what's seems, the issue? It seems like the focus right is on man's pleasure. No, it's not. Uh, no, no, I totally no, disagree, bro. Disagree, I totally yeah. disagree. Like, let me give you an example, so, yeah? So, how, let me give you an example. How does it honor God for me to have sex with all these women in heaven? And, like, sorry, what's say again? How, 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 how does it please God here? Or it's God it's God not about please. Look, sorry to Look, heaven is a reward that God in, he, he gives to people as a result of his mercy. Now, if I have worked all this time to reduce uh, my sexual interactivity and to do this and, do that and stick within the guidelines of God, he's saying- You worked. Look, pardon? You worked. Sorry? You worked. Yeah, if As I worked. you did things yeah, to God, in God's favor. Yeah, so, so- we don't believe in Christianity. We don't believe we can earn God's- No, we're not saying we, we earned it. I'm gonna say we earned it. If I did that, God will decide to put his compassion on me. He may decide to give me more than what I actually deserve by giving me all these rewards. And he does the same thing with women. No one's going to be left out. And in fact, this idea, look, there's verse in the Quran which subjugate uh, males to females. I'll tell you how. In Jannah, in the country, for example, there's this uh, boys, ghilmanun uh, or wildanun. It's mentioned two different terms. That there'll be yatufun alayhim ghilman or yatufun alayhim wildan. These boys that will be going around and serving people in Jannah, including women. Would you sleep with them the boys too? Say again? No, but you're, 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 bro, no, no. I'm saying to you, you're making the same mistake. You're, you're assuming that the incentive for a man is the same as the incentive for a woman. No, but this is you, you have an equality, you have an equality premise. We don't believe in equality in this, in this regard. Good, good man. So what I'm saying to you, if you don't believe, so why are you asking if they're going to sleep with them? Do you think that women want to sleep with boys? Do you think that's an incentive for them? Do you think that women sleeping with young boys is an incentive? Is you think that's an incentive? Great. So now we understand. 
I'm saying that. Especially women, really. But let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. When you go, you know these studies that have been done on Tinder and on these dating apps, yeah? Uh, when you swipe great. right and swipe left and all this kind of thing. Very black feeling, yeah. Very black feeling. Why is it a fact that like one or two percent of women like what they see yeah. compared to men? Why? Why do you think that is? Um, hegemony, I think it's called hegemony, like women have a larger pools to choose from. Yeah, mate, there's, there's, there's that, but there's also that there's men, men are perverted, more perverted, sexually perverted. They'll go on there because they want to find sex, do you understand me? Whereas uh, most women going on there to try and find partnership and pair bond. They have two separate... Some men too. Yeah, some women do it as well and some men want that as well. I'm saying you're a good man, maybe you want that, you know, but we have to control ourselves as men in a way that women, you know, don't have to control themselves, yeah? But what I'm saying therefore is, what, this expectation that the Qur'an should have the same uh, incentives and motivations for men and women, is based on a faulty ideology which is feminism. We don't accept it. The egalitarian premise that the, the sex drive of the man is the same as the sex drive, it's not the same. So, I mean, what, that's, 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 that's my issue. That's my what's issue. your issue then? My issue is you don't have an issue with Jesus having contradictory self-attributes, which is a logical contradiction akin to believing a squared circle, but you have an issue with men having intercourse in heaven and having a good time. No, 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 no. What's your problem, brother? And you are the same guy that you, I, I, you're, you admitted on camera that your sex drive is high and you enjoy sex. Yeah, what kind I of mean, cognitive... I mean, I admit that. You yeah, admit that on camera candidly. No, you put... Okay. Yeah, so you enjoy the thing. I mean, I'm human. Let's go. So okay. I'm not making you. I, I I'll talk to you later, I'm my friend. I have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun as well. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. 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 Shalom, Shalom.